say is thank goodness you're up and running and well done to the entire team for getting him up and running let's head into the brand new category now Sassel global touring cars are in the house and as you can see some magnificent motor vehicles have been prepared for this first outing for the gtc's there are two volkswagens two audis and two bmws and all of them are looking forward to going to battle here for a global touring car championship in south africa for the first time in the BMWs, it's all about Janara Bonafidi and Henny Grunewald. And in the Audi Engine Extreme team, it's Simon Moss and Michael Steven. It's, been, it's a fantastic start to the season. You know, it's been a, a long wait uh, to get into a, a saloon car again. You know, what an awesome car. I think uh, debuting it this weekend uh, couldn't have gone much better. Uh, car feels great and, you know, qualifying results uh, have shown, so really pleased and you know, uh, just a big thanks to the team. The guys have been working the last six weeks, uh, seven days a week, you know, I think over, I don't know how many hours overtime, probably 300 hours overtime. It's just been a fantastic effort from them to, to get us on track. You can only really go out there and do what you can. Treated like another practice. I think if you put too much uh, pressure on yourself, that's where you, you don't really extract the most from the cars. But now we, we're up and running and we can look forward to the rest of the season. Well, Michael Steven getting a double victory on the day just shows the kind of caliber he's got. Multiple touring car champion, multiple production car champion, and of course, two Polo Cup championships under his belt. Speaking of Polo Cup championships, a couple of drivers from Polo Cup have stepped into the GTCs in GTC production cars. Daniel Rowe, one of the top contenders there as well. And then Ryan Cranchai will join Charles Smallberger and probably Mark Detoy in what will be Class X of the GTC production cars. So a couple of categories coming together here just to get things going for GTCs. Sean Dermany will be a dominant factor at the front end of the production car class in his ST Focus. But of course, at the front end is where we're concentrating. And we caught up with Volkswagen Motorsports' Matthew Hodges. Yeah, at the end of last year, um, finished second in the Polo Cup Championship. Got the call from Mark to say, look, there's a Golf GTI available for you. Um, do you want to drive it as part of the VW program? And of course I said yes, I took it with both hands. And uh, from there, you know, with the unfortunate circumstance of Gugu, we, um, we found ourselves in a, in a VW Jetta in the GTC class. Um, so the progression was, was quite quick, but uh, I'm going to take this opportunity while I can. There's still a huge amount of development to be done on these cars and it's basically a race by race effort that's being put in by the big teams. Engine Extreme doing an incredible job here. As you can see, they only started Simon Moss's car at the beginning of this weekend and he's had two off-track excursions already. But guys are battling with these cars to get them developed. Even Nathan finding it difficult to keep it on the track. That's right, yeah, that was the first championship I ever won uh, with, a, with a VW and that was the start of my, my career with him. Um, a product that I've just managed to hang on to because of the, the, the successes that it breeds and it just keeps going. It's just a great car, great championship and with much luck and much support from them, I've been able to get into this wonderful GTC program that they're running now and uh, let's see if they can keep it going and I'm sure they will and grow all the youngsters that are in this country. All GTCs with six cars going to battle here. It's Gary from Auto who's uh, put his uh, money where his mouth is and has got this series up and running. You can see very popular amongst the crowd. There is the full field of GDCs with production cars and Class X on their tail. And some great racing happened out front. It was all about Michael Steven winning a double on the day. But some uh, little bit of in-house fights and looking forward to the rest of this championship. Headed down to Port Elizabeth in two weeks time.